if you like the steel that your office building is made of, or you like the gasoline that you put in your car to get you to work, or you like coffee in the morning to wake you up for work, or bananas for lunch, or grains for supper, then chances are you want to keep the port of New Orleans safe. And a part of that is protecting the wetlands of Louisiana. I'm standing in Venice, Louisiana, which is about 60 miles southeast of New Orleans. And the land that I'm standing on looks pretty solid, but it's actually not. And the reason for that is because this land is not made out of bedrock. It's actually made out of alluvial land or silt, which is prone to subsidence or sinking. And it took the Mississippi River about 7,000 years to build up this land. Since the reason the land has lasted this long is because the river has historically overflowed its banks, especially during the spring thaws. But what's going on now is that we've dammed up the river with this elaborate system of levees. So now the river can't overflow its banks. So the marshland surrounding here no longer gets this like infusion of nutrient rich fresh water and silt. So there's not that delicate balance between building up the land and sinking. Now all we have is just sinking. One of the reasons that we wanted to film down here is because down at Venice, we're precariously close to the Gulf now. Whereas you can't see it because this is the levee, but beyond that is almost open Gulf waters. And really before this, before we started to erode the marshlands, it would have just been miles and miles and miles of almost unbroken green. And that helps save us during storms, which is why we got catastrophic storm surges during Katrina, because there's just nothing hardly standing in the way of us between the Gulf and where we all live. So most everybody who works down here either works with the oil industry or the fishing industry and those two things have helped contribute to the acceleration of uh, the marshlands disappearing because about 10,000 canals have been cut into the marshlands in the last 75 years and that allows for the saltwater intrusion and basically salt water because these are freshwater marshes salt water kills the trees and it also kills the grasses that grow there and that just accelerates the process and allows for erosion to go even quicker. And what happens then is if you've got no buffer zone between us and the Gulf of Mexico, then places like Venice and Buras and get hit really hard with the storm surge and this happens. And we're losing the Louisiana coastline at a phenomenal rate. It's the fastest disappearing landmass in the world. It's disappearing faster than the Amazon rainforest. Every 30 minutes, a football field sized piece of land goes. Every day, 50 acres disappear. In 10 months, an area the size of Manhattan will go. In 200 years, at that rate, barring all storms, and storms, by the way, eat up land at a phenomenal rate. Katrina and Rita ate up 10 years worth of land. So at that rate, in about 200 years, all of this, what I'm standing on, will be gone. New Orleans will be gone. The entire coastline from the east to the west, all the way up to at least Baton Rouge, will disappear. If you send this link to everybody that you know, we'll get the word out, because a lot of people outside of this area don't have any idea that the Louisiana coastline is disappearing as fast as it is. The other thing that you can do is to write your state representatives and senators and push for coastal restoration. So another simple thing is don't buy cypress mulch. Cypress mulch contributes to the clear cutting of the cypress forest in Louisiana and other places, and that accelerates the whole land loss issue.